Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to take a conceptual look of what it really means to solve an equation, in this case, a linear equation. So we have an equation, a left side, an equal sign, and a right side. An equation means that the left side equals the right side. But there's a variable in there, the variable x. And we see that solving an equation means to find the value of the unknown variable such that the left side of the equation is equal to the right side. So what, for what value of, of, of x will the left side equal the right side? And so how do we do that? Well, by inspection, we can realize that if x equals 10, the left side equals the right side, because 4 times 10 minus 3 is equal to 7 plus, plus 3 times 10. Simply by replacing every x by 10, we can see that the left side is 37 and the right side is 37, which means that x equals 10 is the solution to that equation. Now we're going to learn a lot of different techniques of how to do that, how to work out so uh, problems like that, how to solve equations, ones that are much more complicated than the example we have over here. But let's take a look at this simple example to see how that will work. How do we figure it out? Well, essentially, we want x on one side and the numbers on the other side. In other words, we have a 4x minus 3 equals 7 plus 3x, so the goal is to move all the terms that have an x in it to one side and all the numbers to the other side. We learned that when we move things across the equal sign, the sign changes, so this becomes 4x minus 3x because the plus 3x on the right side becomes a minus 3x on the left side. We have a minus 3 on the left side. When we move that to the right side, it becomes a plus 3. When we do that, we have all the terms that have an x on one side and all the numbers on the other side, which is the goal. Then we reduce both sides. We combine like terms, as we call it, so that 4x minus 3x is x and 7 plus 3 is 10. And there it clearly shows that x equals 10 is the solution to this equation, which means that if we replace every x by 10, the left side will equal the right side, just like we showed over here. And that's essentially what we're trying to do. If we're going to solve that same equation using the property of addition and subtraction, this is what would, it would look like. First of all, we have a 3x on the right side. We can get rid of that by subtracting the 3x on the right side, but then we have to do exactly the same on the left side. So 4x minus 3x is x, and 3x minus 3x is 0. So we accomplish that by getting rid of the 3x on the right side. Essentially, it causes us to move it to the left side. Then we realize we have a minus 3 on the left side, we don't want it there, so we're going to add a plus 3 on the left side, which means we must add a plus 3 on the right side as well. This way we get rid of the 3 on the left side because minus 3 plus 3 is 0, so we just have an x left on the left side, and 7 plus 3 is 10, so now we know that x equals 10. Again, the solution to our equation. You can see that we can use either approach. We can simply move things across the equal sign and change the sign, or we can add and subtract the same thing on both sides to move things essentially from one side to the other. The effect is exactly the same, and it depends what method you like the most as to which one you apply. I see that many students tend to like this method because that's what they've been, been taught. However, you can see that this is a much quicker method. We simply move things around, change the sign, and reduce. But either way, you'll get the same answer, barring any mistakes. Now, there's a number of techniques that we need to employ in order to solve more difficult equations, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to take a look at all the various things we need to learn how to do, so that in a very systematic way, no matter what equation they give us, we'll be able to find the solution to that equation. And that is the goal of this set of videos. We're going to show you the technique and then show you a number of examples much more complicated examples and show you how to actually solve different types of linear equations. And that is how it's done. 